very end stuff, too. Well, then we can just start with that box. Yeah, we'll show the ladder girl. <laughs> hey, ladder girls. For those that can't see it, there's actually a uh, chalk ladder on the floor here. Oh, there's actually people watching. <laughs> awesome. Oops. Oh, this is the chain chunk. Too sad. Ah, we get this screwed up. This is your, your gather step that you've always done, just small. Nope. Damn it! Hey, now you get to see me fail. <laughs> your your gather steps that you have always done to everyone, right oh. here. This one. Oh, ah! Sorry. It's this one. Okay, but that wasn't that what I was just doing? No, you were crossing over. There this you go. one? Yeah. Nope. Nope. Move yes. The other foot oh, first. drop foot first. Yeah. Gotcha. Other part. When we make it bigger, you, you fucking nail it. Yeah. <laughs> you just don't like doing it small. Well, I just have to remember it's a drop step. Anybody interested in joining us, let us know. We'll be watching posts next week, or at the end of the day. Uh, all of these, we have a, a library, and we're going to try to do this every week. Yep. I'm gonna go find this one. 
Are you? Awesome. So we can watch the comments from that way over there. Look at my camera, I can't do it this thing. <laughs> Someone says that's the first time I've ever seen people practicing footwork like that at a practice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all the time. <laughs> well, if you ever practice, you've had this one here. Because my arms are broken. Is the back step? Cross step? Yeah. Cross step? Left foot forward, uh, drop step across the ladder. they do in boxing. Foot. We will switch foot, this time right foot forward, just so we can be able to do these things both ways we've found in the past. That's not always the truth, not at least comfortable. <laughs> I think Benny Hill would be better. <coughs> speed it up. Let's speed it up, you guys. Go through practice in minutes. Remember, Bob, you're joining us next week. This is the jab step out of boxing. Switch 
Huh? This is like the second one we did. No. no. Earlier, earlier, yeah. No. We did the hop cut. Sideways, did you see sideways? No. That was the other side. That was that one. Oh. <laughs> Audio confirmed. Alright, so next week we use soundtrack. <clears throat> this is a turning foot, starting with the back foot. Right foot, or left or right foot oh, forward, whatever you want. Shit. I was standing in the wrong stand. So yeah. I was why I was so so back foot lead first. Make sure you turn your foot as you set it. This time the front foot turns. Remember to try to get back in balance. That's the hard part. Ooh, my shins. Okay. Goofy foot. Yeah, Goofy nice. foot. <laughs> Switch feet now and do it with the opposite way. So, right foot forward, and you're going to lead with your back foot again. This is brain melting. Yeah, just yeah, brain melting is right. Again, funny foot, lead with the turn with the front foot. Is that a funny foot? No. <laughs> funny foot, not like what I just did. <laughs> oh, why am I having such a problem? <laughs> there, right. I switched to normal foot again. Louis, show them up. <clears throat> back foot or front foot? Uh, back foot, sorry. Yes. Oh, no, front foot. front foot. There we go, good. Bringing it back. Oh, my balance is so bad on this one. I want to bring that foot back every time. Oh, the TikTok one? You want to do the TikTok? Well, it goes with the other one. Alright. You're totally missing something, I'm not sure what. Well, we. This is a TikTok drill, uh, newer to us. Or a circle step. Except I'm doing it wrong. With the reverse feet. Other, other foot first. Cross the feet. Oh. It's like the inverse of a right. triangle step. <laughs> yeah, or a triangle step with the oh. reverse feet. So oh, reverse feet. Yeah, okay, now that makes sense. Right. Right. <laughs> we'll show you this on the pal later.
Yeah, I'm just like leaning forward and doing absolutely terrible body Yeah, I had terrible <laughs> one box back. Make sure you try to keep your foot straight forward or a little turned out on these. People want to tend to turn their hips. Yeah, well you're not supposed to do it like this. one on the drill later with strikes and fallouts. Alright, this is the other foot. Sides responding. This is a drop foot. Keeping your hips down, keeping your new legs. You gotta keep those legs bent. Try not to look at the ladder. Yeah, we'll definitely have to get some lines people can see. Yeah. We're breathing and and letting her uh, do the off foot. See, this is the, the strong lead, long jab. In our case, we'll use it the same way with a sword shot. Uh, we do those later in a drill uh, with Bob. Bob is our pal, by the way. All right, where are we? Oh, time to break out Bob. Well, that's all I can think of, so we're, we're on to the Bob's portion of the evening. Afternoon, whatever. All right, we're going to be doing some movements around Bob. Concentrating on good footwork first. 
This is essentially just a drop step, or uh, what's the actual? Gather step. Or the gather step. So you're just dropping out and gathering your foot. So we go around one way, and then we go back around the other way. As you feel comfortable, don't jump to this right away. You're going to add sword and shield and try to keep them as steady as possible. And we have a circle on the floor about, about the sword radius out. So yeah, take your sword at the center, just draw a circle around Bob. That gives you where your feet are supposed to about kind of land. We'll play with chalk colors and see if we can find one that shows up on video. It's a good reference line. Let's 
do it again. I completely screwed up the beat for the first half. I didn't mean, realize this is the wrong stance. We can do it again. So we're going to do this again because we all suck. Uh, and we can use more practice. Um, just a, a quick note on this is uh, if you're just before you get into actually doing striking, when you go from sword and shield to sword and shield and striking, finish the whole thing. So anytime, I don't care if it's your drop step, finish it and then throw your shot. Finish it and throw a good shot. So then you break those two apart and then later you're going to do that drop step and strike at the same time. So all of a sudden, drop and throw. That foot hits the ground. Here I am, bang! Just as that foot hits the ground, the sword should be hitting. Ultimately, that's the timing you're looking for. about power here, we're just worried about timing. Later on, the good part is uh, we'll see about copying the video up so you guys can review some of these. But you may want to take yourself, or uh, that way you can see where, if your hand's moving too early. Uh, you don't want to rise too much as you do this drop step for this offside side because then your arms up in the air are ready to go. So really, as you stop here, spin. All right now, pick pocket. Is that what we're doing? Or cross step? Single cross. Single. Okay, single cross step into the corners. We can do the TikTok too. We 
Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. yeah. So this is a single crossover. Again, we're going right into corners. Uh, you see Momochenko do this a lot. He'll put his hands on their, their mitts and he'll go back and forth like this as the person's trying to catch up to him. And you speed it up as you get your bounce. You don't go up and down. And don't go up and down, watch your leaning, try to always keep a straight back. Again, the idea here is perfection, a little bit of speed, all of those things. But really, it comes down to agility and comfort. You can throw up and down. Louis will show you. You can take any part.
So here we're doing the long lunge step like we were doing earlier on the, on the uh, ladder. Uh, we're using, we move Bob to the back of the circle, and now we're using the front of the circle to see where, how, how our lunges are working. Again, try to make sure when you lunge that you're lunging, with, don't turn your foot in. All right, so let's do the, the lunge forward, one step back. So the first one we'll do is lunge forward and step back just like we did on the ladder. There you go, and again. We're gonna do five of these. So you're gonna do 15 total, we'll do five each side. And then we'll go and do it. Do the other five and fall off a good course. We're just gonna do all 15 and then and then I'll go next. So this one's five and she's gonna fall off to the right. My right. Right? Which side that is on the camera? Yeah, I don't know what side it is on the camera, but it is her right. My sword side. So sword side. Long step and then fall. So in the Louis gonna show you long step, throw, fall. And you can actually add another throw later when you want to exercise this more. Again, be careful on trying to do it, add everything together too fast. Yeah, this, we've been doing this for many weeks, so I wouldn't look like this at all. My Big part. Were... Go ahead. Yeah. Big part of this is learning how to trust that falling step and adding the timing of the push to get more distance. Uh, if you look, a uh, side looks really, really far away from Bob. We are not, we are outside of C range. So, to give you a feel. How long do you think that circle is? I don't know. Six feet? Five feet? Like, yeah. So, I can't even lean forward yeah. and poke him. Yeah. So, Bob's probably about, about six, at least six feet away from her. He did some good range jumping. We're basically C range to the shield. Yeah. Right on the edge of the edge. <laughs> So that's time to be falling off to her shield side. You're going to see that these feel different. is to throw and fall off. Change your angle, make them adjust. And the throw will make them freeze and for the block. I know. You can see this is a cross step with the back foot. Doesn't mean it has to be, by the way. 
If you shift your balance fast enough, you can do it as gathering stuff. It's hard though. I like the cross step over. So he's just going to shorten the distance he has to jump so it doesn't stress the calf out quite as much. But you can still absolutely do these exercises. So after this one, we're going to actually do all of these, but with funny foot forward the next time. Right now, Louis breaking, uh, breaking the angle after the throw instead of back to the sword side. And you actually just fall into a drop foot for that sword side slide. Now we're going to drop into the uh, shield side. Again, multiple ways to do all of this depending on your balance. Uh, I usually use, and like you can see, Louis, he's just dropping that back foot. He leans to his hip side, drops the back foot over for that outside angle. Those that joined us late, we're going to try to do this uh, every uh, Sunday around two o'clock. Uh, if you need help uh, with some of the drills, I can. We got some drill spreadsheets for uh, inside practice. I got to watch being hit. Uh, and uh, we're happy. Whoops, one of them got turned off. Okay, uh, we're happy to help you. We just did this in the garage, so if you park in your garage. I would suggest you can lay tape. If your garage floor is nice, lay tape down. If it's not nice or you don't want to lay tape down, you can just chalk it in every week. I uh, promise we can see it even if you can't on the camera. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fox says, what's the plan for a follow-up on that finish? Uh, on the on the outside step? I'm not sure. Fox, can you clarify? We're seeing the comment late, so we're not 100 percent sure what you were talking about. But if it's talking about falling off to either side. Uh, Louis was finishing those with a hook wrap over here to the back. Since you're falling up, you're essentially, as Louis, and I'll show you on the, on the fall off, Louis jumps in, I block because he throws that first shot or first jab at me, and then when he falls off, it's too late. I'm in, I'm in tension, so I have to release tension to turn. He has a nice hook wrap. All right, funny foot. Is there any question? 
So we're just switching to the other foot. Uh, we've gotten really focused on trying to do everything either, either way, just to uh, add more agility to everything we do. We found that funny foot sucks because we don't know how to do it. No kidding. Prepare for hilarity. Lots of really bad technique. <laughs> right in front of me, no? That's the best plan. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like a pretty good angle. Just trying to always switch angles, trying to get you guys better views. <laughs> this and then you can <laughs> turn and angle any way you want. Uh, the interesting one on this guy is just so you know with funny foot forward what we found is the fall off or the drop step to the outside actually gets you deeper because that hip's already forward. So that hook wrap behind the shield or behind the kind of into the sword or back becomes much easier. It's harder you got more distance. Target sucks. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm here for support. <laughs> here, I will unblock so you can do your thing. <laughs> now to go. Okay. I think we're good. You think so? A 
I'm gonna move them over a little. Sure. No? Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, towards that. By the time you're swinging, you're far away from yep. the door when you're swinging. Okay. Just don't hold your sword super vertical at the beginning. Like we're not supposed to. When you first do this one, a good way would be, again, jump, throw, fall. Break it up into parts. We've been doing it for weeks already. Yeah, this is not the first draft of these exercises. They were much less good the first time. <coughs> that was always weird. Falling out to the other side. engagement on the funny foot forward does the movement momentum make up for it so there's two ways on a disengagement you can try to shift everything hip engagement so just, is that what you're talking about how does the hip engagement work with the funny foot oh so here this drops you're stacking it right in here all that power is like driving into the floor so that's where your power is coming off forward momentum and then since it's all here, it's very easy to swing that back foot out and reposition again. And you can throw it to the back side of the head. I killed Facebook and restarted it, so okay. this is much closer to real time now. Not like a minute behind anymore. Oh, God, that. Oh, man. That cramp right in the top line of camp. We're also broken, it's great. I'm not broken, just right. Here I am. I'm permanently like grow. So this this jump on the front foot hip engagement for the sword is a lot like that falling step. As I fall, I snap, uh, like that long lunge jab step that we do. So in this case, it's already forward. Uh, if it isn't because you want to set up something different, you could take that little switch foot. And I'll have them do it right now. So you could take that little switch foot, do start normal. You could add that switch foot we practiced on the ladder, switch, and then go. Um, where that switch foot is a great opportunity right. to go. Because it does fall. change your distance. Because as I'm standing in front of a normal foot, I am pretty comfortable here because I'm right here. That's how far he's going to throw that sword. If he does a switch foot, now all of a sudden, there's where he is. So that switch foot, it really changes up that distance. Sometimes your opponent doesn't recognize that. Uh, and it also changes it up really fast on your hooks that are like throw. There you go. Look how deep that hook is. Now throw it a regular without the switch foot. See that right there? Now watch. Switch foot. It's much deeper. So that's what that switch foot can do. All right. Press your follow-up. And you can do these as drop steps too, which is what we're going to We're going to do that last, which is what I did last week. week. Oh, the big actual like, like this step. Uh -huh. hmm? What was that? Drop step. Put all the weight on this. That's what we're doing on the first one. Or you can do a. That's what I'm doing on the push jab. Push off of this one. So I'm doing my, my jab step is essentially a drop step. I'm leaning forward, 
Again, for everybody that joins, uh, we're going to try to do these on Sundays. Everybody's welcome to join us. If you have uh, questions about how we're doing it in the garage, uh, if you want the, some of the drills, we have all of these drills uh, broken up as well. We can send them to you, send a drill spreadsheet. Um, but we're going to try to do this every Sunday. I too love everybody to join us and, and, and do it on their own too. So if you have questions while you're doing it, uh, you can ask, and we'll try to keep questions coming. We're going to bring a laptop out here to make it a little easier on us. Uh, but we can also answer questions. We're going to drill the first part of practice for sure, almost probably 75%. Last 25% we'll take questions. Uh, we, that's our free form time, uh, just like in a martial art class. Uh, so we'll take some questions, we'll show some technique, and we'll work on some of our own techniques as well. And we'll like post a reminder ahead of time. This was sort of a spur of the moment idea today. Yeah, this is our Next first test. We'll give you a warning. Let us know how you like it, guys. Uh, that way we know if, you know, you all say, oh, this sucks, cancel it. Uh, we'll uh, probably keep doing it, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can just turn the channel off. <laughs> Every Sunday forever. But it's a nice workout. And it's a workout that we do that to help your SCA stuff. All right, so we're doing the uh, the falling step. This is the one that we do quite often, a really long lunging shot where people are like, you transported into range. Well, this is that step. Uh, the biggest part on this step is learning to trust your trust your balance. You're literally falling forward and catching yourself. While you teleport. <laughs> While you teleport. In the first part of this, it's just straight at the pel. Later, we're going to break right and left as well. Oh, I like Short stitch. Here we go. Nice. Uh, it's a good thing to set markers on your floor again, oh, just to oh see God. how much distance you're getting. You'll get extra six inches of distance out of this fall in step. The key again is to hold your feet as long as possible, and then as you're falling, your strike is developing. We'll show you how the strike works on this as well. <laughs> so right now the key is keep your shield in good shape and your sword in good shape. Good defense first, guys. Demo. <laughs> Mention the center of gravity height. Yeah. You notice uh, the key on this one is uh, side body is pretty stacked. It's always straight up and down. Don't don't lean forward, otherwise your shoulders will pull you right into Bob, and Bob will give you a hug. It's happened. It's happened. Yeah. <laughs> Are you face planting a bob and <laughs> head button. And head button. Bob is very forgiving. He puts up with a lot of my crap. <laughs> Box is, is is the first test of the emergency broadcasting system. <laughs> Basically, yes. <laughs> 
This is our emergency practice broadcasting system. We miss practicing with friends, and this is sort of our makeshift way to try and pretend we're doing that. <laughs> Again, we're going to do fall offs five, uh, five aside. The first part was less good. This all comes down to feeling comfortable in the long falling step, gathering your center, making sure everything's in place, falling off to the side without bouncing in the air, and feeling comfortable with all of it put together. So if you have to do it separately, go ahead and do it. And like, remember, this is an absurd range. Yes, this is. Working from. This is very far <laughs> away. This is probably in the seven, eight foot range. Yeah. This is out of range, but apparently not. From one side of the list to your point. That's it. Depending on the tournament, yes. For Burka, yeah. We're standing in our opposite corners right now. Absolutely, Fox. Strong legs. Build more burst. Shot back. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I know. It's real different when I don't have to reach. Yeah. That's where I throw your shoulder forward. We'll show you what you're talking about in a minute. shoulders and elbows on board. A little hot, but... A little hot, right. A little hot, but forward. So as you get better, make sure you've got, you're, you're always, this on this first fall in, that you catch yourself, you're nice and straight up and down, that you didn't bob high because you'll lose distance if you bob high. So, so don't lift up as you're going forward. You almost collapse the knee as you're falling forward. Here I'm falling this knee and then I have to step. So, um, your blow on this one, after you get good at it, is right on the first step. So here I am, way back here. When I hit here, that's my shot. So. Right, right as the foot's hitting the ground. Right as the foot's hitting the ground. So if you're doing this uh, the first time, 
your falls are feeling good, the next step is fall, stop here, kind of, kind of feel that good hard foot. You don't have to throw it right away. Bang, throw, step if you have to, or just place your foot down. So if I'm doing this for the first time, just straight back or straight forward without anything, it's bang, and then I get that foot back in a normal stance. He is then back in a good sword and shield stance for Try not to land flat footed, guys. Stretching out my range. <laughs> Too close? All right. So you can see that I'm adjusting stuff as I go. If I feel good, I'll stretch out my range. Another just start a little farther back. Uh, and then when it fails, I just adjust it. This is time to work on stuff, not work on being perfect, not strong, not blow pills away. Is it work on good feet, good uh, good throwing habits? Be, be nice to Bob. You don't have to beat him to death. That's right. So Louis, you got to modify these, right? Hmm? You got to modify these? Not this one. Okay. okay. I'm just landing on that cap. Yeah. Just don't take the long, long. Yeah. Again, if, if you're not feeling great, like I have a a, a little bit of calf. Uh, twins right now and Louie has a calf issue. Just don't take such a long step. Try to be lighter in your steps. Don't fall as deep. Finger keeps coming back. Is it really? Yeah, that knuckle. From being hit or just hurt? Strengthen. Oh, really? Pressure. Okay. My hand's pushing like stronger right? than my knuckle. No. Oh, my hand. I got you. Get that sideways a little bit? Yeah. yeah. So relax a little bit. Right. Also, if it gets bad, then we should probably move you back to a full oh, floor. I find my selection is a little hard to use because there's more weight out here. Oh yeah, and that's why I hate them. So let's yeah. drill yours for lead it. Like this? Yeah. On the back end? Yeah. This right. one's give it, yeah. That one. No, this oh. one to give it more. No, oh yours. Oh yeah, you can totally drill that one too. Yeah, yeah. give it more yeah. Uh, tip. Yeah, maybe about that far. Right. Is that oh for who <laughs> 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 Right there, even worse. Nice. Yeah. You just stop picking up the pots like this. I'm sure. It's a very strange thing that I do. <laughs> Yeah. 
even though you're, you're lifting it this way, you get up. So just make sure to keep that hand in front of your shoulder. You can lift a little, but not too much. Ah, oh, here, let me move up. <laughs> Sorry, we gotta move Bob because uh, we keep hitting the garage door opener. There we go. Get over here. Don't be here. Land with it nice and perfect form yeah. every time. We're just adjusting, making sure you remember that perfect form. You know how to do it. Sometimes you do it super well. Back into perfect form. Wrong Balder, why the sad face? I'm confused. He wants to be here. Oh, well, you can join us and see how that elbows up a little bit. Play along yeah. at home. So yeah, this is again uh, for people that just joined. Uh, we're gonna try to do this on Sundays, two o'clock. You're more than welcome to join us. Um, Follow along. Do bring yourself at home. Yep. Yeah, so again, we're just doing it in the garage. Pull the car out, put a ladder down, put a pal in, and uh, and join us. Um, right now we're doing it on Facebook. Uh, if we get enough people that want to do it, we're gonna open a Zoom session. So everybody can go ahead and do the same things we're doing and broadcast what they're doing. Um, and then if anybody has questions, we're going to try to manage those questions and stuff and, and try to help people as we go. Be more interactive. Yeah, just hoping to get people interactive into uh, kind of doing what we're doing, uh, getting back to practice a little, get some good exercise in. I've had three or four people ask about... Um, some drills that they can do and trying to put stuff together. Uh, if you go to SCA uh, Coach's Corner, we just did a goals um, video uh, about setting goals and things like that. So I thought this would be a good time to hopefully maybe get other people. And uh, for us, we're just going to mostly be happy to see friends or make new friends. So this gives us a reason to get here on time, not like today where we started late. Running on SCA time. Thank you. As traditional. As traditional. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get a water and then uh so we do the falling one. What's the next one we do? Water. 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 Goofy foot stepter. Alright, so the, the, the goofy foot you got that so we just did the goofy foot double switch one. So yeah. I don't so, think we've actually done that one yet. So. so one we haven't done is we're gonna start goofy foot this time. So this time we'll fall onto the front, or into, for us, into that sword foot and throw the shot. Um, tell you the truth, this is going to be our first time doing it. We usually do it the other way all the time. But, so the, this is going to be fall, bang, and then back into normal stance. But when we um, fall to the sword side, it's going to be a different then foot. Then it's going to be easier for us. Yes, it. yes. Right. So, uh, Louis will show you here real quick a demonstration. Our local ambidextrous guy can do this crap. Sure. There we go. So we'll do the, the normal five fall ins. We'll do then five falls to the to your sword side, five falls to the shield side. Set oh, wow. Which goes real nice to the onside. It just feels so gross standing this way. I don't understand. <laughs> My sword foot shouldn't be forward. And I also have not practiced shifting this weight, so this is just all weird. Gross. But it's a big step. Yeah, you don't get to watch me learn this because I haven't done it and it's weird. <laughs> what about being too, being oh, too just, close? Just watch the landing. Um, getting your feet real close to the landing. Well, it's because my left foot really just wants to end up here. It can. And I'm fighting it. <laughs> no, you can totally land in stance. That's going to be bad. That's, she 
you just brought up another variety. We could be landing in stance or landing goofy foot. Yes, we probably on this one should go from goofy foot to land goofy foot. Or it depends which way we're going, I think. Yeah, they're going to be switched whenever you're comfortable with, right? If I'm going just to the right, doing the one side. They don't even have to touch the right foot down. Yeah, yeah you, you probably want to, though. It's just bang. Other, other foot. Just so goofy foot forward, forward, step through. So step through, bang, and then. Right, and you don't even have to touch down that right foot in the middle. Yes, no, and that's the way I do it on the left side. Exactly. The other way. That's why I watch my feet and tell me what I know. This is, this is hard because I'm you're learning. Linear. You're learning yeah, to trust so yourself. Going weird. You're trying to learn to trust yourself on this foot, so. So figure out which foot is okay. like the All culprit, because right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, that time. That side you're good. fine. Okay. Now try to, when you hit the end, you know, when you hit the end, just squat and your feet will naturally turn out a little bit. Squats. Okay. More squats. It's just hard to get yourself used to the switch. Well, yeah. Is just everything about it feels wrong. Good part is everybody, you get to struggle with us on new stuff all the time too. So we're trying to add stuff and practice stuff, uh, and that's what uh, practice is for. Okay, not bad. Yep, a little bit more could help. Yeah, it's like I ended. I'm exaggerating, but like I felt this way. So your back foot like that turn maybe. Well, it was, but the front one was, like, the, the, front, the back one's allowed to be a little, the front one's not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like landing and then doing this. <laughs> so as this is the first week, I keep reminding folks, um, this is just, uh, and I apologize, you've probably heard it already, uh, but we have a lot of people joining constantly. Uh, what we're practicing is this is just our Sunday practice. We're going through all of our drills. We went through ladders, rotational drills, uh, uh, essentially some footwork, uh, uh, 45 drills, along with some throwing um, uh, inside the footwork drills. Uh, here we're doing, so we did the fall in step uh, with, the, with our normal foot, uh, the, which would be essentially the back foot. Now we've switched it to funny foot and doing it because it's totally different than uh, the other way because we're still trying to be comfortable and agile with both feet so that you have opportunities to actually use your feet any way you need to use them to deliver something to your opponent instead of having to shift into something that you're comfortable in. So the goal here is to get comfortable and that's what we're trying to do and it's the reason why we do them all. Will I ever do this? I don't know. Um, I, one thing I know is that all of this has given me a million more things to think about inside of a fight to take advantage of my opponent. Um, the next step after drills is how to do that. So that's something uh, that we're also working on. <laughs> uh, and again, uh, we're gonna try to do it every Sunday. You guys are more than welcome to join us. Uh, tell us if you'd like to join us and we'll uh, talk about opening a Zoom so that you can video yourself doing them as well so everybody can kind of join in one big virtual fight practice. Uh, there is a Pell version of this that's been going on forever, um, but we really wanted to open this up to all of our folks that uh, we normally do stuff with um, to help motivate them and motivate me here to get me here on time. And, um, and hopefully if others want to join, I'm happy to have them there. Casey, you should join us on Sundays. Yeah. <laughs> I would do the heart hands, but my hands are full. <laughs> I'm doing them with my mind. Ha. I'm coming here, and I really yep. want it to be that. My body doesn't want to do it, so we're gonna just be slow and weird. That's fine. Yeah, just again, <laughs> just do it, stop, and then fall off. You got it. So on this one, yeah, you're gonna push it back over a little. So we don't hit the camera. Uh, That's part of my problem. Is this is the first time the camera is in a I'm dubious sure location. Need to turn a little, or is it good? It doesn't really matter since I'm not there actually hitting him. Um. So on this one, we're doing a swing foot. 
or to cross cross step to get into a corner. So cross step into the 45. And I'm going straight into his arm. So the idea is there's going to be a I'm shot here, as she as she falls in, and then there's going to be a swing step to get offline to your opponent. Uh, if your opponent doesn't act very, react very well, then you have a hook uh, to the back uh, to the back of the thighs or to the back or back of the head if you're tall, not like me. Do it slow at first if you can't do it. We do, once you get moving, to tell you the truth, uh, especially for the folks out there, we have to switch, so it gives us some time, uh, but once you get moving, it's, uh, it, the drills really keep you warm, uh, it, it, it's a great way to get some good physical practice in, uh, and you see that we don't use, but really a car space in the garage, so. Car and some change. Yeah, car and some change. We've got the so. walk, what would be the walkway between the cars. Yep. Casey said uh, next week, hopefully. Yeah. More the merrier, kids. Miss you. Oh my god. There, Just work on, a, work on a 45 more of it. I'm trying to like sure. Remember, if there's a if there's an actual shield there, you're probably gonna oh, be that's true. you're probably gonna be a little bit back here, right? So here. I think we did this we did it around the elbow. Nope. Just under the elbow. Ah! There we go. Alright. <laughs> Bob won't punch her in the face anymore. I mean I still might headbutt him. I'm good at it. I don't think that's what we did. It's up to the shoulder. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just up to the shoulder, yeah. I mean, it's still sticking way out. Yeah, but the elbow's a little bit more in. Which is the part I'm going to hit. <laughs> that chicken wing. A chicken wing. So now it's Martina instead of Bob. That's right. Because we got a chicken wing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Martina, we love you. <laughs> there we go, good. We'll uh, we'll show you guys some um, we'll show you guys some of the other uh, practice tools we have as we go. Uh, right now we're just kind of doing the the feet. Um, I'll, I'll show you one of the practice tools we use with Louis when he throws on this exercise. <laughs> Believe me, I'm going to have the same problem. <laughs> Keep doing this like lovely leap <laughs> up sideways. I really want to do a jig or something. <laughs> That's good. That was a much better. Yes. Yeah, that was a leap. I just saw it in the video over there. I'm like, oh, I did that nice. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dancer, okay? I'm good at jumping. <laughs>
put a pole right in front of the bell. If you look at it, it ends up being like dead nose, almost on his nose, maybe just a little bit towards the shield side. Um, and now I'm going to fall in, throw that cross arm, and try not to hit the pole. This, is, this gets you away from that sword swinging out and hitting the pole. So. Don't mind me if I mess this all up. I'm doing it funny foot first time, so. And I should be, there we go. So it's easier to throw the shot. It's just my back foot wants to readjust to the normal foot. <laughs> See if I can keep me funny foot when I fall out. Good. No, that wasn't good. It felt too good, and that's why that's why it was wrong. This would be nice if you fake to the other side of the head. So it's like you fall in, and pull that shield that way. sessions and then you can kind of get it from either any, any, any camera angle. Yeah, the time delays might be a little off doing it. Yeah. Zoom is. Zoom is a little bit off too, isn't it? Not as bad as Facebook. Yeah. 
tell, but he was a really Zoom session. Like, we're not going to get the frame by so frame. So straight fall with, with um, line up, normal foot? No, funny foot. Still certainly be useful. Yes. Now my my hand could be coming low. Uh, the, the answer uh, foxes. I'll have to double check in the video later. Um, Louis popping his hand up. Mine could be dropping low. I tend to go for leg shots after I do these. Um, so, but again, the idea and you you have it, Fox. You want to get back into your good form every time. Yeah, so he says that your hand looks dead on. Um, so I think it's the angle. Yeah, we are we are shooting this from a higher angle, kind of above his head. If uh, uh, if you look, uh, Louis' angle on his arm is probably at the beginning. It's in his shoulder, and then when he falls in for the strike, it's stop. It should be still in his shoulder. Uh, what usually happens though is it comes up, uh, as you see right up in there. So we want to make sure that you're in the right space. But this is what drills are for, guys. Good chance to work on stuff. Keep working on being small. Nice. Little hook wrap there. I just like lifting out of my shoe. I know. It makes no sense. These are my the ones with the new bottom. See how they last today. And then I'll have to figure out how to redo my old ones. They're getting pretty abused. Well, he's getting pretty versed in ripping shoes apart. Yes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> back together, he can probably uh, help you figure something out. Yeah, make sure you're not falling that way first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, Falling into it. Yeah. <laughs> I know I did the first time mine too. I'm like, I gotta stop falling into this angle. Yeah. That's a nice one for a sliding inside leg. Yeah. Because that shield should be up for the block. Right. And I'm just kidding. And then you just slide underneath and hook that inside leg. So the good part is people don't hear Louis breathing nice and hard, so he's, he's working hard. Uh, you definitely work up the sweat, guys. So this is the idea. Just get a workout in. What's that do this? Whatever we want. Is this, this usually the end of our... This, yeah, this has sort of been the freeform portion. It's, this is what we've chosen to work on lately. Okay. Last time we did some of the stuff with me trying to identify openings. Yep. We could do pull something that we haven't done for a while. Do the was it a track tracking connection? Yeah. So this is the hard part. We so we can do that, <laughs> but for people there it's harder, right? So because they don't have another person. Maybe we can do this though. Well, because well they can do this with us. So we can have a camera and you can yeah. be facing the camera. That's kind of what I'm thinking. We're going to think of some ingenious ways to get you guys involved. Uh, <laughs> one of them will be maybe a, a, we'll shoot stuff over the shoulder on some like travel travel drills and stuff like that. Uh, so we'll try to figure out how to get some of that more involvement. Um, but these are great drills no matter what. All of these are single drills. Um, uh, one, uh, so uh, we're going to do another. I'm going to break out. Um, 
Actually, we're, we'll, we'll hold the shield uh, stand till later. Uh, but uh, Louis is going to do a little bit of pell work drill on him because this is single drills. So you want to try, um, let's do that, that bang, yeah. bang. So we've been working on a drill and we'll show you how it works. I actually, I did some sparring with Louis and uh, this is a new shot. Uh, I, I have a feeling people like, damn, people like uh, Fox is, uh, would be perfect for these things because it's a very fast, just kind of reactive shot. Um, so Louis is going to show you uh, what that shot is. So we started this shot as a, basically we threw to the arm and then on the recover, bang, recover into the body. So it ends up that, but it ends up being really, really fast. Uh, let me give uh, Bob his, uh, we're going to get a peace sign and put that on there. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't think so. It might get people mad. <laughs> square. We can make a square, Bob. <laughs> a lot of people turn their bobs into squares. There you go. So, so Louis showing you right there. It's uh, it's really it's it's a fun little recovery. I, I can hit the body here, but when we were doing it in practice, it was actually much easier just to drop it. It hits right in the hip, but it's essentially just, it, it's, as you hit here, this this turns. And then you come right underneath. So it, you form this little C right in here. If you drop with it, and that hand comes up underneath. So you do your head. Right? Um, the whip of your body on the back hip. So you're throwing this on. The, the first one is that forward hip. The second. The first one is your forward hip, bang. The second is a back pull hip. So that's how you're generating power, power. So you can generate power on both. Um, so we were just practicing that a little bit. This is another one you can practice on your shield. So essentially, you can throw mullen egg to the arm, make sure at the watch edge, and then pull it up. Don't do this, start up too high early because then it falls off. You have to drop into it, that also devolves power. Arm, body, that yeah, back hit. I'll have uh, Louis run through these a little bit more, but here we go. <clears throat> So this drill is really nice because it teaches you, you can do a, so, in this case, Louis is doing a double hip forward, so now you got this, essentially, you throw little hip, and then roll underneath, it's like, first hip, second hip is more of a turn. Move your shield to demonstrate. So here we are, Walking. first hip, second hip, so a little double turn, first hip, second hip. Allow that toe come up right up on the toe. So your first hip looks like this, bang. Second hip looks like this, bang. Uh, this will actually allow you to break out the shield better than what I was just showing you on the back end. So here I am with Louie. Let's see if we can get a better shot. Here we go. Uh, yeah, uh, actually go this way. That way they can see. All right. 
Here I am with Louie. He throws on the arm, bang, and then he throws that right up into the wrist. It's actually coming, and my feel significantly over if you look at where Louie's throwing that. Get you a little better. Let's get over here, and you can see the strike to the body. Bang, arm, and then here. Bang, bang. Okay, so uh, like I said, when I tried this, uh, it worked in sparring. Uh, I was just hitting to the hip. <laughs> so, my back leg following it though. Yeah. So, Louis's working on some other back blade stuff. Uh, we'll probably show you some of that um, so that uh, it's, it's definitely advanced stuff. Uh, my arms aren't made to do that kind of crazy shit anymore. So, uh, Louis's but Louis's been practicing it. Uh, it allows for a deeper strike on the back leg. Go ahead, Louis. Just show him one of the strikes on the back leg. Uh, you can see people, uh, we clicked a little bit of this off of uh, Great Fighters of YouTube when they're showing some Lucan, Lucan videos, uh, who strikes with the black blade. Um, so there's the forward blade. There's the forward that's blade the, right there. And you can see, kind of a little bit see the angle. Come over a little farther so they can see the angle. So here you are. You can see his angle right there. Now watch on the back blade. So now his angle's even deeper. Uh, so if we put a pole in place, that's great. Okay, we'll show you this one. That's the trick. And uh, just so you guys know, this is the end of our practice. As we just kind of, kind of brainstorm stuff and then try some different things. Um, Sib's going to work with some. Uh, uh, immediate target opportunities at the beginning of a fight, uh, and we'll show you what that's like. Uh, right now, Louis just showing a couple of, of play throws that it's much easier to do when you're alone. So you can see the the first on the on the blade on the on the on the blade part he, that's that pole is blocking him. Unless yeah. I get, unless I get the rotation right at the pole. Right, and then really even there you're coming just yeah. The, you're just, it's hard to be, it's hard to be on, blade. on blade when you do that. Now on the back blade you can see it's totally open. He's way around the pelt. There you go. So that's the back blade right there. There you go, and that's the back blade to the top shoulder. Again, if he tries to hit that top shoulder with a Molinet, okay, he can do it, but it's a little harder, okay? Um, either will work, that back blade, though, gets you much deeper. But you still got to be careful with getting right. the blade on. Okay. Hardest part is making sure you get the blade on, so this is why you've got to practice stuff over and over, tape yourself, uh, practice these full speed, tape yourself, and review your blade orientation. So, go ahead, do a few things. For a regular blade, you gotta cock your wrist way back. Yeah. back blade, you gotta, you gotta cock, cock it all this the way, way. In. Keep your wrist straight, no matter which way you go, it's gonna be flat. Yeah. No matter which shot you're trying. If your wrist is straight, wrong. So, for that, yeah. that, for that either, shot. Yeah, for, for that one target. Now try it without the step. There you go. Yeah, just drop into the knee. Fox says it looks fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fox, you're going to destroy someone with this as well, I'm sure. But you have to practice it. Like you, you and Lou are just going to go out and fucking mob people. So just so you know, uh, on, on these, uh, this is much more of a close A range, whatever you want to call that range. It's uh, much closer. You have to be in that, uh, that close range or A range for us. You can throw it from farther out, but it's not nearly as effective. You, you end up really reaching for it. Just trying to see if there's more shield angles, because you can, you can get under the, under the shield. Right? Under the shield. Well, like our, like our, you know, like like this one, right? So you get under, kind of under the shield here in the front of the shield. Um, you can draw up. You know, right? We can pull them up and then drop into there. Right. For for these, I which pulls the head open a little bit. Right. So the big key is just turning this. Yeah. 
back foot out, boy, I really want to pull these down. And boy, my shoulders really don't like those. So. Yeah. <laughs> they, they made me down to go. Yeah. What I was noticing is it kind of pulls my head open a little bit. Yeah, it does, because you got, well, this is the same way. Even, even is, there, is there something else I can do? Yeah, yeah, you have to freeze them. So this is no different than your offside mullet LA, right? So you're way open too. Right. So the same thing, right? Exactly. Yeah. Well, this is why you have to really set them up well. So, anything else you want to show them on a belt? Make sure everyone on Tuesday is back on people off sides are. Nothing specific. Okay. Maybe another time we can walk through all the standard shots. Yeah. Um, yeah, the other six. I got the six step one. So, uh, we did a modification also on. Um, the the Pell, the, I think they do it. What's it called? The six shot drill or something? Or? It's a little bit like I don't know what they actually call it. The one to six one that everybody always does. Yeah, it's so one, 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 to, one two, one three. Yeah, it's the yeah. it's a drill that Uther uh, a number of people posted it, but I think Uther was one of the first ones to kind of put it make it big. Um, so it's the the one through six drill on the Pell where they are, they're doubling shots. So it's one 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 two one three and then we go all the way through. We did something like that um, with our stuff. Um, we don't tend to do the double ups. Uh, what what we did is just practice all the different shots we had. Yeah, we, so we stole the numbering system and used it for a completely different right. exercise of how to do this while moving. Right, and then we added movement to all of it. So it's like step. So you see step a step throw, step throw, step throw, step throw, step throw, step throw. We just worked, you know. And we work yeah. up and down, and then we work centers. But if so, you want to make it more advanced, you could change up the the ordering right. or have someone call her in. But we're gonna do we're gonna do it simple right now. Yeah. Uh, we'll show you. We'll get. Build. Yeah, we'll get it um, squared away, uh, and we'll run through this next week. Um, real simple. Uh, we'll keep the first level of this simple, and then later uh, we can uh, work on throws. Uh, there's a couple of new uh, ideas on reaction throws. We do them with pads with partners, but uh, there's a couple of people came up with a really simple way. We've been trying to think about it. A really simple way to take uh, a computer, generate a spreadsheet with numbers in it, randomize those numbers, and then use text-to-speech to call out numbers. Read them out to you. And it, as they read them out to you, that's what you're gonna you're gonna throw. You're gonna move and throw to hit that number. Yeah. So that way you're changing targets all the time. So we're gonna try to. We haven't done this, so we'll be doing this with you guys. Yeah, I figured out. <coughs> you gotta contact Helgi. <clears throat> all right. So um, in this drill, uh, I'm gonna show different um, different positions to side. She's gonna call what uh, what is open. So in, in your case, we're going to have side stand right over here. You want to mix? No, I'm going to show her a different sort of different fighting so positions. I get the camera like over my head so they can see. No, that's all right. All right, there we go. Okay, so first position is pretty much like we normally do. What's, what do you see? Okay, and we're doing the how we're hitting it as well. Yes. So like, yeah, that's there, always that there, angle's there. Yep. On the side. Elbow. Side leg, maybe, but it's really so which one? Yeah, which one's first? That one, okay. And then leg, right? Yeah, if you get real deep, you can get back there, but that's okay. sort of a last ditch. Great. All right. I'm seeing a slot yep. here. I'm seeing it over the top if I can get Okay, break over the sword, yep. Maybe elbow. Right. Anytime you see that elbow, you got to pressure it. Yeah, I, I got to. I know. Are we ranking these? The like, angle around You should always shoulder. start with, you, in this exercise. The first one is, is the most Yeah, first likely. to last. Okay. So, so highest value. Okay, well, we'll add that in. Okay. So yeah, so first to last in your head. I'm working top to bottom. Yep. Nope. So first to last to your head. If, if it helps you get rid of the first to last to work top to bottom, go ahead and do that. So it's like a highest value like access pair. Identify them pair. all first and then go back in order. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, the, so what we're trying to do is make sure so, it, it, depending on how a person, sometimes it's easier for a person to say, okay, I'm checking this side of the body, I'm checking this side of the body. And if that helps them identify stuff, I'm good with that. But then the next step would be, okay, what is most available or most dangerous to your opponent? High value, low value. Right? Uh, and, and it's just like, hey, I can take a head or, you know, a head shot or an arm shot that look like they're both even, which one's better? 
course, the headshot, right? right. Always the kill first. But yeah, those, those two head angles yep. both look good depending on how I can shove my arm okay. up. So here we're going to do another one. Funny foot. Oh, Jesus. I mean, I've got a, a head yep. in there. Right. Again, again, maybe over the top. Not okay. super confident about that. That over the top gets you this bounce up and down when people want to block it, right? Yeah, and I'm debating yep. that inside totally. leg. Absolutely. Do something to make sure. Well, that this all you. In my way. So how does that not get in your way? Let's pull you up. Pull me up a little, and then drop right low the and down. throw underneath. That's correct. And that back leg seems too far back. So That's right. Not really a target. Okay. So here we are again. Oh Jesus. Exactly. Right. I mean, there's an arm. There. There's an arm. Yep. Always. There's kind of, kind a, of head. a head right down the center, right? Great. And of course, that inside leg again, right? Like that one is actually the most enticing, despite not being a super high value target. Okay. Motherfucking Tarquin. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you're on on video. He's gonna hear this. I think mean, he won't mind. He'll, <laughs> He'll love it. I mean, it's pick a side for the head. Yeah. But there's a lot of setup involved. Right. That's but but we're again. <laughs> fine. Tell me what your targets are. I don't care about the setup. That's tell me what you think you can get, well, or what where you have to pressure. Like the setup makes it uh, the only way it works. But yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's, it's, You're gonna pressure either side, side of the head. That's the exactly. Head. I agree, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. If he sticks the arm out there, maybe. But then a little bit of pressure on that arm. Yep, yeah. forearm. Yep. Push out. Leg ish. Yes, leg as well. The shield is low, so <laughs> the leg isn't it's a great target. Reaction time. Right. So what, where that leg becomes a target is maybe a hook to the back leg. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Exactly, because because the feet are square, square. there is it, it, you know that movement is is oh, locked yeah. down. If I can get the jump on him before he bothers to move, mm -hmm. granted, I need to think about this more generically, and not just one human with that stand. But exactly, ass. yeah, ass shot. <laughs> there we go. In here. Yep. But this right that leg. This cuts down a lot of angles. So really, you got two on the same side. There's not a lot on this yeah, side, this, right? This side is kind of gone. So what my immediately go to is how do I make you think I've got something over there so that I can make you pull that even more and, and just fucking that's correct. take you out. That's correct. <laughs> how do I make you think? Because I don't see that stance a lot. Here we go. Head. Right. You're gonna push this head, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now always. It's like the angle. Yeah. I'm not sure what angle. Well, break the hand out. This no. Way? So break it like this. Yeah, so, so when it comes in, kick your hand back. Yes. There. Okay. That. That. That's wide correct. Wide open. That's correct. I mean, we can get that from another side. Mm hmm. If you do that, I can. Right, you're still going to push some on that arm, arm right? Side. That's sort of my last okay. choice. That's okay. <laughs> but the, the big piece is you want to push a little bit there just to, again, open up the box of shots, right? you got a box. You're working in. Push the different corners. Push the different corners of the box. That's correct. Threaten right here. That's right. Yes, down the center, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. And then maybe that leg. Right, but I'm cutting it with that shield, there. right? Yeah. But you gotta, you gotta push something option, on it. But, but yeah, again, that's sort of bottom of the list. Right. At, on that, looking at that. Correct. Okay. That's what I'm gonna try and like move. Let's see what else. Uh, what else can I come up with you? Pick a person. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to decide if you're Felix or not. Uh, nope. <laughs> Although he's a little bit, yeah, but not quite. Like I'm not like quite over in here. Like right? it's too crossed. This is a this is a little bit of Westy. <laughs> this is that hanging guard. In this case, what's happening is they're hanging well, it out hanging far out front. Way. Not. There's not going to be this this back hanging guard. It's going to be a far out. Yeah, I'm pushing you. I don't know. I didn't right? see this one. I'm like, I got that. So they'll push you, and then they'll pull this back here. Well, yeah, that right? leaves me ahead. Right. When that's way but out there, key, that's a real trick. It, exactly. Angle. Again, throw right. it and throw it and break. Right. Yeah. So again, where's your targets? Right there. Where else? Yep. Yeah, right there. Where else? And or that way. Okay. Take your side. Uh, that elbow is hard to get to, I know, but you still have to put like the... If I do some like weird Louis Black... <laughs> 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 I'm 
<laughs> but there's also the, the the pin the basket throw the shadow over the sh oh, shoulder. You know we should uh we, we should notice. work on oh, yeah. showing them on Bob the there. pin pin and throws. Yeah. Hold Next on, go week. Go back to that stance. Show what? How are we this going? is grab pull pull and throw. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Since you're sticking it out there. Yeah. Right? The sword is away from the body. The basket's away from the body. You have some opportunity. Once they get it over the shield like that, I feel like I don't even need to do this. You just don't. You slam just slam it straight down. Yeah, exactly. And both. And again, you know, just have to I, I just have to bump and throw, right? <laughs> Yeah, even better if they're, if their hands yeah. at range. Yeah, because they're in the weeds. Yeah, and a lot of times what they're doing is if you're trying to draw you here. Oh, this crap. Right, you're trying to. They're, they're out here. They're like they're just. They're, well, yeah. So I'm pushing. actually back here. Yes, they're like they're pushing this. They're waiting for you to step so they can throw something different, right? Right. So, so I'm not sure how I get in close enough to snatch. Strike down right. on the sword. In that game. And then cover with the shield. Yeah, and that's it. Whenever you have strike, a, a strike one, the sword. snap the sword. And then yeah. come in. Are we pushing and holding? No, you can, you can, but I, I just smack hard. it. I just <laughs> pop because I'm you want to get back to yeah, Exactly. Yep. Yes. You want to do your oh, recovery okay. fast. I'm not bad at that snatch. So uh, next week we'll uh, do and we'll try to remember um, yeah. to, do we have a whole set of snatching, um, how to do some snatch and throw drills. Um, we don't do them around here much anymore. We used to do them all the time back. That's how I won my first crown. So. We're gonna, gonna learn we're gonna that. show you some more snatch and throws just to get again get your timing with both arms working together. So a snatch and throw would look a lot like this. Just the, she's all she's doing is just hitting a basket or snatching it across and throwing to the offside of the head. Uh, the second way to do it, uh, if you have a heater, it doesn't work as well with a center grip. Is essentially push or bop the out and throw the center line. So we'll show you uh, the drills we did for those next week on Bob. Uh, those are drills you can do by yourself at home too. All right, ready? Your leaf was still here. So, so let's see what else. Uh, let's uh, let's go into. Us but standing up badly. Yes, one hundred percent. Us but standing up badly. Yeah, leg is wide open. I to Head is it all the way up into exactly. the bottom. Exactly. That. Elbow. Yep. Yeah. The corner is pretty tight, less, isn't it? Right. But maybe over here. Right, and the other side of the sword. Yes, very good. Okay. So yeah, that's like all leg all day. <laughs> <clears throat> that's, yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, let's see another. Any other stances you can think of? I can give you. So give you this one. I want to thrust, but it seems like a bad idea. Well, since I'm a frame in this, no. How about the I can shield do this. close and flat? There we go. East. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's the first one. So Ohio, right? Yeah. Oh, is this what Ohio does? A little bit. They're, they tend. That's what he's looking for. This shield comes close to them. Oh. Yeah. That's, that's um, more and, like. Um, and the sword tends to be close as well and down. A little more like Kelly, right? So there's, there's this, this is the shot. This is the block. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, still the leg's still there. Yeah, that arm is there because I'm bent in, right? Like, that actually, might that actually opens up so because close. my so close it's hard to block with my basket hole. That's great. <laughs> okay. Well, it just means I'm not pushed as far away from them that it like, is physically closer to me right. than it normally is. That's about close to that, that eastern. Yeah. One, one of them. They have every variation of yes. flat and here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Right, because that's, yeah, faster. Mm hmm. Uh, mm hmm. It's a real narrow slot. Yeah, and that's about the order I would probably do those in. Okay. One day I'll do them in real time. I'll have to see. All right. So, let's see what I'm going to pick here. This is why we need to get that and do um, everybody show us your card. Yes. Yeah. Flash yeah, cards. I, I, I just post that. Flash card. Great flash cards. Everybody show us your cards. <laughs> and then we'll distribute it. Everybody have a, like, and some flash cards. And then we'll learn how to beat them all. Alright. Ready? Old castle. <laughs> I kind of did. You, you can't reach that far. I can't reach that far. <laughs> They're all different. There we go. <laughs> Hi. Yes, exactly. Hi. Yes. No. 
That's, that's kind of all I'm seeing. So, so you do have a, 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 a slight, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The other side of that. Other side of that, like that. How about Arkale? Who? Arkale. Yeah, how he, what was his like? Was his like, well, his was, he's lefty, so his shield was way out like this, and then he's back here. Oh, yeah, kind of the reverse. But, but he had that shield out and flat. Yeah, here we go. And you, you can do it right now. Yeah, well, you don't have to do it. Yeah. I can't it's get just, the shield flat. Yeah, it's just the shield has to, you, you right, have to tip your hand. Right yeah, there. sure, I can do this. Yeah. Right. What on earth? Hey, hey, he was hard to fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you're just Yeah. It's hundred percent cone of defense. Yes, hundred percent cone of defense. Also he's and blocking the scorpion around. He's blocking your, your line of sight to his basket. To, to, to some degree. Yeah, to then make sure his basket's free. All right. That's a that's so, a difficult one, right? What do you do? So what I'm gonna do is put a lot of pressure up top first. Right? It's I let you because if you can blind me, I can blind you. Okay. Okay? That's interesting. Strategic right? out of that one. So the idea is here you are, put that straight out in front of you, right? So, so I'm still going to push on that L, L arm because you always want to pull that back a little. Even though it's not yeah. super there. Right? And then sometimes I'm going to I'm gonna drop to try to get that shield drop a little bit. Exactly. And then they see how oh, that yeah. drops. Because that's real tiring when it's yes. here. Yeah, but I mean, he, he was strong and he did it. Yeah, yeah. He, he just did that all the time. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. When you're like loading with a 30 pound shield, right. you can take the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> but um, manipulating the threat to, to get him oh. to move his shield to blind himself yeah. is, is so interesting. I think the key on a lot of that is also movement, right? Is to push into those corners. What was that? Uh, I think this posted up a link to Precision Boxing Coach app. We'll have to check that out. Oh, yeah. There's a. There's a there, I, I, it's actually uh, there's a YouTube Precision, Precision Boxing I have that's a, a YouTube. The guy does a, a yeah. bunch of different stuff on it. He's okay. I, I'm, I'm eh, uh, and he sells most of his stuff. So, so, so there you are, nice and tight, right? Yeah. So, and here we go. So nice and tight. Well, there was an arm. Yeah, there's still some legs in there, right? Yeah, right. I don't like that one. This one seems better. So, so here's here's another one, right? Or even punching in. So I'm gonna just make. Yes, exactly. So similar to Arkel is uh, the heart. But yeah, he's next in front of the lefty, but again into a long thrusting position, right? Same, similar shield, though. Yep, same. So he's, he's oh, up here, he's, he's underneath oh, that shield. All right, here we are. That's the right. lefty. Like, that's less threatening when it's on my yeah. shield side. So. <laughs> but still. Okay. I don't know what to do with that. All right, so I'm going to do something. As soon as I stop, you make calls. <laughs> okay? Okay. Yeah, I have like... Yep. It's a little on the arm, right? I saw you look at it. It was almost entirely that, behind that's fine. the shield, though. So it was definitely low priority. Maybe. Uh-huh. Well, that's... Yep. Yeah, gotta push it. Yep. Yeah, right. Not great, but maybe. Right, but still, you still got this. Still looking for that. Yeah, it just seems right? like the easiest thing to block and screw up. But, but if they block it, you got it above. So you fake there, then you throw high, right? Exactly. So you remember, this it's, is all about what's yeah. maybe working. the inside leg better than the outside because then your hand yeah, that's sliding more, inside. Then your hands a little more in front of your face. And it, again, from where I was standing, it looked like it was cut off by the shield. Ready? Right. Yep. Yep. I apparently just want to drop in the leg a lot. Okay. Because <laughs> so I see it, and I'm like, there it is. I know, that's why I'm making right. this faster. I, I see an opportunity here because um, I'm thinking about these, but I'm also thinking about which direction am I going to throw the shot so I can block something at the same time. Level two. <laughs> Maybe. Like the previous one when you did the hanging guard? Yep. I'd be more like I'd throw this angle yes. because my basket's up here and I'm blocking, blocking all this stuff up, yes. rather than throwing this angle where I'm open in the space. In yeah, the again, always throwing across the across your throwing line is important. Right. This That's why this is sometimes is across your throwing line, but what happens on this is a hanging arm, so you're not really doing that. That's why those off sides become dangerous because you're 
tend not to throw evenly. If I throw across like this, then I'm coming right across that throwing angle, right? right. So. All right, ready? Just like if we were going to fight. Yeah, that's fine. And that side, yes. Yes, wrap, yes. Like really what I want to do is. Yeah, but that's fine. I don't care. So you got you got three. Yes. Okay. This is a nice angle on that shoulder too here. Yeah, if you can break it up and break it high. Pick a sort. and you hit that sword hard, his sword's going to just pop right out of the way while you hit his head. Yeah, but if I hit his sword, I probably am momentuming Not so much that way. Kind of like you threw it. So if all, all of a sudden I... Here. Yeah, more. Just right in that into like, the sword there. Like hitting this. Right, good. Get your elbow inside my shield. There you go. Pretend the sword's not even there and just drop right into that on the head. Yes. Just drop into this leg. Yes. yes, you see how you're... Yes, exactly. That's still just awfully narrow. Yep, so, just think that's the okay. sword, There's pretend the sword's not even there. The yeah, but even Again, the sword's not the problem. The shield is. The shield's what's going to stop my sword. Right, I'm but running forget... right onto it. Right, but if he's back in that stance, and you forget the sword's even there, then throw here. And you're so much farther over. I'm so much farther over that I completely miss him. You gotta, you gotta tip the angle back. Yeah, that's 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 a zigzag shot, which yes. is not what I'm going for. Yes. But but it, it is a shot, so it is so the the idea is to make him collapse in that space a little and see how he collapses. If he collapses and blinds himself, what do you have? Maybe a wrap. Yeah, or yeah, that 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 hook, that little hook, Jay, that even the slide out hook becomes important, right? So you can pressure like you pressure push push on the side and then slide out. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. But. Right? That was the only thing I okay. saw. Okay, okay, that's fine. Yeah. And that was still because of where your shield was. Like, I gotta do some weird maneuvering because your shield's here. Okay. <laughs> like, it's, it's not yeah. here, it's blocking your leg very well. So, always think about, think about your opponents where they can see because as hard as they're covering themselves, it could, and, and blocking your angles, they could be covering themselves or very close to being covering themselves. So all of a sudden, if I'm here, you know, to, for me to pick this up, I'm going to cover myself for one second, uh -huh. right? And return, uh, return a throw. So now you can fake that, and now what happens? Yes, exactly. So think about a little bit about that once in a while, how you can make somebody cover their eyes. Yeah. So it doesn't even need to be a shot. It just needs to be a little dangerous just to make them cover their eyes. That adds to like the opportunities a little bit, but you so you have a layer of fundamental opportunities. What what things are open that you could throw at? Well, yeah, I just from that weird whatever the heck yeah. you were in, I did I saw nothing. Right. So, so here I, I am. See any opportunities because that's right. Fun it's still there. there. You remember you're not seeing it, but that's it's there. Kind of the only one. That's, so here I, I am. I don't see your head at all. Right. Like, right, but you know don't it's, it's just like my arm. You don't see my arm, but you know you can throw them all in there. I do see the arm. Yeah, but you can throw them all in A to the top side of the arm too, right? Right, exactly. Oh, so that so that head the head is the same way. So think of it that way a little bit. Right? So do you see my elbow? My arm? No. Okay, so throw them all in. Good rotation. You turn that foot. Right. So you know it's there. You can still do it. 
So the same thing happens. I'm here, right? Turn that. Now they'll put the brake and throw the molinade to the head. Same. Yeah, yeah. So just know that it is there. It just you. It's, and this is why we're doing these is so that you can see that okay, you know there is something. All I have to do is get behind his shoe. <laughs> In this case, on the arm, you're getting behind his basket. Not, not working? It's not really there, and then you're giving it to me, so it is there. So here it is. I, I won't move. Like, okay. it's not, but it's like as soon as I touch it, you moved. Like, I know. Throw it. Okay, so that time your angle went this way. Remember to drop it straight down. Drop it. Yep. Now I'm. Well, I'm either hitting your sword or I'm hitting. There. That was perfect. If I'm really lucky, hitting your head. Right. But it is there. That's just. Your shield that's just. Yeah, your but that's just targeting. Yeah. Sometimes if I'm going for that shot, I'll just change the angle a little bit more this way, just so it, because when it pops the sword, then it's going to come back down. I don't know what angle you're talking about. Please don't. You get through. Yeah. So. Here you are. Mm -hmm. I'll just do it with this yeah. real slow. So from here, I'll just come across here and then break it down. And then it's going to pop this sword out of the way like this. And right. go straight past his head. No, it's going to go right into his head. I've, it, Not I've done from it. the angle I'm looking at. Right. <laughs> I've just, as, as you do this a lot, then you know, it just happens and then you. You kind of slide. What he's talking about is you end up sliding. So as, as you're coming over here, you're kicking that sword out and also kicking down. Just how we do the centerline shot when we go yeah. here, right? And we come across. And breaking a little hot. Right. So if the sword was there, I'd be just cracking this, hitting the sword here, and it's going to push my sword. I'd be hitting his sword here, and it's going to push my sword back a little bit. So next, what we'll do is when your arm feels, we'll see how your arm feels next week, and then we'll add uh, my helmet on, and then you can actually throw that one. You're breaking physics. It's like it's like playing pool. With You're using sticks. one thing to bounce. I'm just bouncing the, the ball off another ball. No, I'm, just... I, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not <a> target. <laughs> I know. That's okay. Oh, this one's a fun one. No. I it is a deep, I hard one to throw. Time. Yeah. Because there, there is, the next people are out there doing that, right? So Yeah, they'll, they'll cover. They'll cover, they'll be yeah, here, or even turned a little, and you still have some yeah, opportunity. You got so much. So, but. You just gotta hit the, a little bit, a little bit heavier to the sword side. But. And then it will knock it back. The only reason why I even think about that opportunity is because everybody always has to be afraid of their head a little bit, right? He knows that there's an angle, even in here. I know that there's a little bit of a gap here. That I'm, if I'm looking through it, you can see it, or it's there, right? If I can see you, you should be able to see me. Now, if you can get the sword in that spot, that's the harder piece. But, you know, if if I'm seeing you, you should be able to see me. So, and and if that means here I am, I'm, I'm up here like this, and I, that is absolutely blocked. Uh -huh. Then maybe maybe it's a drop and a push into that face, right? So instead of a sliding leg, it's a drop and, and push, right? So I I don't like well hopefully into his into his chin. I don't like that shot. Other people here throw that shot a lot better than I do, but I don't. like not at this height. So yeah, but right. in here. But so even there, there's still this opportunity this way. Yeah, yeah, still to get that on the top side, not on the top side. Yeah, totally. So and again, you, so if I'm in this position. How do you get me to move to no, give no, you something? because you lunged at me, so I'm in the middle of reacting somehow. Okay. Probably backwards away. Right, which, again, <laughs> is so so for us, you, you have to watch a little bit. You can get, as long as you stay in range, when you back up away a little bit. He's like, you're lunging at me like that, I'm doing this. <laughs> that's, and that's perfect, because that's, now you're threatening the whole offside. You could of also body. take a step to his shield side. I could. And it puts his shield in between his weapon and you. Right. Right, and then I lose her again, right? Because I can't see. Oh, well, yeah. Right. So, realistic reaction. If I cut that way, you don't just lunge and hold. What right. happens? So, if I'm like, I'll be out here, I'll be like. 
and I'm going to try here, right? I'm going to turn, but now I get flat. Right. Now, what if you step forward instead of um, sideways? And then the top of him? The other, the other direction with the other foot. On this side. Oh, just step over my foot step as I step it. Foot. That's still sideways. Oh, I'm, I'm talking like, hey, hey, go ahead. Yeah, so that was the sideways. That's did. still right. sideways. Okay. You're going around him. Yeah. Forward means into him. Okay. <laughs> Your foot around. came this way, so that's why I was. So a lot of times, if this one's way back, it's hard to get those hook wraps, but they are possible. So you could take, you know, any of these things. A, if I'm, a, but a lot of these guys will present this right at the beginning, right? They'll be, they'll be in here. They're they're presenting this in inches, right? Exactly, right? I don't know what to do with that weird stuff. Right, so we're gonna have to work on, this is why we're doing these, so that we can work on those, okay? And then we'll work those, uh, as we can throw stuff, we'll work those a little bit more. So right now we're visually identifying stuff. You know the inside leg is probably the one thing that is probably the most, maybe the elbow, okay? Because that, that arm, it's still, Man, still, maybe. right? Still there, there, right? Especially for that kind of sliding drop ball in it, right? There it is, right? So, so you know those two, so that's fine. You got two for now, that's good. Um, and then when we work this into the next step where it's like, okay, now I'm gonna get in that stance and I'm just gonna come slow and you're gonna do stuff to pull me into different stuff, using your body more or a little bit of feet, we'll keep it nice and small and you'll see what kind of reactions those people have to have. Like okay. If you fake the elbow to pull the hand out. Right, then it's open. So yeah, what happens is if you fake that elbow, now you see you see my eyes, right? Yeah. You see my eyes, yeah, my head is that. open. Right. So you know, it could even you give me a little bit of little bit of look like you're gonna step out this way and J hook to my head. And lean and look like you're gonna throw. You just say so I'm lean side, but it's almost like lean like you're lifting up. Yeah, yes. like I don't throw that J hook. Right. I don't know how to so, lean. So that. just lean, <laughs> lean, but don't dive into it. Just lean out sideways and make it look like you're gonna throw that. So I have to adjust, right? So it's all of a sudden I'm over here. Exactly, exactly. Does that make sense? So, so we'll work on those types of things. So first layer is recognition. Yeah, you broke me. I know. Second layer after recognition is gonna be um, what you can do to apply pressure to create stuff. Does that make sense? Because that's that actually the next step in. Broke me with that stance. They have the shot that I, know. I have to hit over here to hit. I wouldn't worry. Which yeah. Really, how I have failed at hitting people in the head. And what I think about it is, that I'm just sliding down their arm. What's happening is, is like put your sword, sword and shield up for a second. All I'm doing is hitting here. So I'm not really hitting here, but as I touch, I slide and turn down. So if I'm here, and you and you throw, just like. Throw start. Just throw it normally. You can throw it normally to the head. It does the same thing, um, right? It's just you have to really reach over and and then slide down. But you notice you kind of push me for a second. So I'll do it again, right? There we go. I'm pushing you. It's entirely incidental. Right, that, and that's fine. I'm trying to match it. And so even if I block with my sword, what does it matter, right? You still make a block. If I block with my shield, then you have a different throw. To do. So if I'm out here, uh -huh. right, and you throw that, and I do this, now what do you have? So now fake that throw. Exactly, right? Or, do it again. Exactly. Right? So that's part of the probing. You're, you're going to find, depending on where you put that pressure, how I react. What do I do with the part where they're jumping at me? Because I'm not probing at that point. How do I stay alive? That's a whole different, but, but that's a whole different part of the fight. Right now, we're, <laughs> we're just working on probing, right? Yeah. That's, that's control. We're not even there. That's, 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 where, that's control of your opponent. So your opponent has to respect you. Okay? So that's why jabs usually make your opponent respect you. Alright, 
5.30. Awesome, guys. Hey, it's 5.30. I know we started a little bit late. Uh, I don't know if anybody's left out there, but hey, thanks for joining us. Uh, if there's stuff um, that, uh, if you're going to join us next week, uh, it'd be awesome. Um, it, let us know because we're going to, we'll bring up a Zoom if you guys want to do your stuff on Zoom as well. Um, also, if you have something that you want us to cover, post it here and then we'll make a list of stuff we want to cover next week a little bit uh, so that uh, we can cover it for you. If you can't make it, we'll try to keep a list and buy people's names so that we can make sure they're on when we, we cover something. Uh, but uh, hopefully, hopefully this will motivate you to just get your gear on. Uh, I'm actually wearing my knees, wearing my elbows. I don't have my body armor on, but we have uh, had done body armor stuff. Get used to, at the beginning, uh, when we're just doing footwork and stuff, you don't need those things. Um, you want to get comfortable in your body first. And then you want to add your legs. Leg wraps, boots, that's it for me. Yeah, so leg wraps, yeah. boots is all you have. Minimum, wear the right shoes. Yes. The shoes you're going to really right. fight in. And then as you go, you can add those things and see how your armor reacts. Because your armor could be preventing yourself from being good at something. And you want to know that when you put it on. And if you never practiced it, you, you don't know. So go through stuff nice and light. If you put your armor on, you're like, holy crap, this is ridiculous. You probably have some work on armor to do. So, um, hoping it helps, guys. I, I really, uh, I just want to get people out and doing stuff, right? And if you could do it with us, uh, it would be awesome. Uh, I'd love to get a nice crew out here to do things together. And uh, at the end, we'll uh, put a big crew together. And uh, when people can make it, we'll make it all of us doing it together. So, uh, we'll see you next week, uh, 2 o'clock Sundays. Uh, prep your garage wherever you want. If, if you don't have something like that, you have a uh, maybe a local shelter or you know something that has cover on it. If, if you're on the West Coast, just join us. I don't care. But for us people up here, um, garage works great. If you're not worried about the cold, dress warm and go to go outside, do it in your driveway. I, that's fine too. If it's snowing, go find a park shelter. I guarantee you, there's nobody using it. Uh, just bring chalk with you and lay a lay a, you know lay the ladder down on the ground with chalk, and uh, you know if you have a portable belt, bring it with you. Otherwise, at least you can get through all you know. Put a dot on the ground and and work all your rotational drills on the dot. So um, uh, look forward to seeing everyone else next week. Ping me if you have any questions uh, or you have any ideas. Happy to listen to them. And uh, even if it's just ping me and say hey, thank you. I'd love to be able to join you guys. Uh, that would be great too. Bye for this week.